hello friends hope you are doing good so i am here with a new video and in this video i will let you know how an oxygen cylinder works and also i will let you know how to set up an oxygen cylinder at home and how to operate it however before moving further let me just introduce you with a well labeled diagram of an oxygen cylinder so first is wheel type valve which is main outlet from cylinder the next is flow adjustment regulator which help you to control the flow of oxygen very precisely depending upon the requirement then the adapter which helps to connect the humidifier bottle so humidifier is nothing but a bottle partially filled with distilled water and oxygen is allowed to pass through the water to make it moist in case oxygen passed without humidifier for long time it will make the nacelle and windpipe dry which would be a troublesome for patients hence nacelle tube is connected to the outlet of the humidifier and other end of the nacelle tube is either connected with oxygen nose mask or oxygen cannula so oxygen cannula is nothing just a pipe directly inserted few millimeters inside the nacelle cavity now let's come to the operation part since this is an old type of cylinder so it need to be turned on using a key spanner so key spanner will look something like this and you have to put it into the cavity and turn it anti clockwise to turn on the main oxygen supply further you need to connect the nacelle pipe to the humidifier bottle outlet so everything is set now just you need to turn on the adjustable knob in anti clockwise direction to check it out you could see the bubbles in the humidifier bottle which depicts that it is working properly and here you could able to monitor the amount of oxygen coming out from the cylinder which is in liters per minute as soon as you will turn on the knob the red marker inside the scale glass tube will shoot upward and respective number on the scale glass tube will tell you the liters of oxygen coming out from the cylinder in 1 minute for normal patients the amount of oxygen requirement could be 5 to 7 liters per minute however i'm not a doctor it's better to get a proper advice from a doctor in such situation now time to do some experiment so my brother has put on the oxygen mask and he is having oximeter on his finger now let's see how oxygen level is changing So by default uh, let me check the oxygen level so right now the SpO2 level is 96 so i have turned on the knob and oxygen supply is initiated so we have to wait for a few seconds i'm not cutting this video or not making it fast forward because i wanted to see in how much seconds it will improve the oxygen level and also i want you people to observe the same scenario So you can see in human body it is affecting in few seconds only right now it is 98 the oxygen level is 98 and it went to 99 so right now uh the supply of oxygen is around uh 7 liter per minute so this is how it improves the oxygen level in human body the spo2 level and it is stuck at 99 it is not getting increased up to 100 so let me just uh, check my oxygen level now so this was the scenario for my brother and now i will check myself so here i am i have put on the oximeter on my finger so let's first check out what's my default oxygen level is so it is reading Oh my god that's 99 oh ho yes i'm having enormous amount of oxygen level in my body let me just rotate the screen to show you in a proper manner it's 99 anyway so i will just put on the oxygen mask now and uh, let's see if it is suiting up to 100 how efficient it is working uh, let's check it out So I am turning on the knob now and the oxygen supply is initiated. I am increasing the intensity of oxygen. It is still 99 and right now it is uh, the oxygen supply is like 
six six liter per minute and here we go it's 99 till now i am having mask on my face so you can see the o2 level at 100 and now it can't go further so this is how it works for me uh, yeah but by default mine was 99 so uh, it's just one point up uh, however it uh, it fulfilled the requirement it make it up to 100 by the way spo2 level beyond 95 is considered as healthy amount of oxygen level in any person however as i told you i am not a medical expert so better you get advice from some medical expert while doing this thing i am just doing this for checking purpose and letting you people know about the functionality of oxygen cylinder and uh, its operation so i have turned off the oxygen supply a few seconds ago and uh, still i am having the mask on and it drops to 99 you can see in the oximeter and this is how oxygen supply works for a patient as well or i can say this is how it maintains the oxygen level the amount of oxygen level in the blood and that's it in this video if you feel this video is informational and a useful video please do like share and subscribe my channel for the upcoming videos i will keep bringing up this type of informational videos for you and yes don't forget to click the bell icon to get quick notification for my upcoming videos this is Pius signing off See you in the next video. Bye-bye.